So, now, music has been changed from iPod to music. I think with the, the reason why they changed it, both on the iPhone and iPad, from iPod to music, I think it, they, they really want to unify... They wanted to unify the uh, icons and everything, all probably the icons of all applications across the iPod Touch, the iPad, and iPhone to match. Before, the iPod had this music logo, and the iPhone and iPad had iPod. Now they all say music, and they all have separated videos apps. So, let me show you the differences between the old music app and the new music app. On the iPhone, it doesn't change graphically. On the iPad, it does. You can see this is uh, it's basically a little bit of give and take. This uh, on the right, it takes away from the overall iTunes in the desktop experience where on, on the desktop you have the sidebar, this doesn't have a sidebar, and it has the now playing on the bottom left, and if you click it, then it brings up the album artwork. So you take that away, that I kind of don't like that they take away the sidebar, I, I liked it, uh, but I like that they gave you the now playing bar up here. On iTunes on on the desktop, it has this playing bar, and you can, you know, sw uh, slide through whatever time in the song you want to be at, and it shows the artist, the name of the song, and the album. Um, and now, instead of having to click down there, uh, it's, see, it's kind of annoying because it's smaller. The font is smaller. That's kind of nice because it displays more songs at a time before having to move around. But again, making font smaller isn't always such a great thing. And because now this is a lot easier to click, now I have to go and tap the smaller icon there, but I like that they brought the bar. So it's a little bit of give and take. They brought the nice little bar there, and they took away the sidebar. Uh, this, this is great, though. The now playing screen is a lot nicer now. Before, the now playing screen didn't expand across the entire screen. You can see that the buttons, it brings up, like, as if the bar, it doesn't fill up the entire screen. It brings bars on the left and right. And, well, left and right. And, see the buttons are are in the middle and everything's in the middle the only thing that displays on the actual sides are the battery percentage and well iPad and Wi-Fi on this now it basically it's not a widescreen resolution so it's 4.3 but it fills up the entire screen and the artwork gets smaller as you click it but I like how the buttons and everything fill up the entire top and the entire bottom instead of leaving bars on the left and right so Again, give and take with the music app, because here, this is something that I don't really like now. On the left, you can see that it will show you your song number. Uh, so it'll say, let's say if you're playing everything from your entire library, it would say... Alright, well, this is, this is from that album, but okay, if... I don't want it to play out loud. Okay, so it, it says right there that that is song 10 of 38. I don't know if you can see that on camera, so I'll bring it up. That says 10 of 38, and on the right, it doesn't display what song number out of however many songs it is. So, not many people would care about that, but I kind of like knowing how many songs I have without having to go to settings, because you can keep track of it. Um, so, you know, more give and take. Um, yeah, I'll show you the difference uh, between the few little tabs there. This, you would have, you know, the difference between... Uh, you, you have the sidebar there for all your playlists, but now you have a playlist tab. It connects you directly to the store if you tap there. And one cool thing I like is that before, you had a very long list, and you'd have to scroll if you had a lot of songs. Then you'd have to scroll between a huge list of artists. Now, it's artists with album covers, so it's very, very nice. I like that a lot better than having to scroll through a list. Contextual items is always better than a list. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Okay. So, um, one last thing I, I have to show you. This is great. Whenever you're in an application, let's say you're using your iPad at a certain angle. It's You're in the dark. Your light isn't on, and you can't find your home button because you turned it around the wrong way. And you're like, where's the home button? So instead of having to put your finger around the screen and, oh, I found it now, but you just swipe like that and it takes you to back to your home screen. So from any angle, you don't have to worry about clicking the home screen button, you don't have to find it if it's in the dark, and I mean, that's not really a big deal, but these extra little things are always, you know, welcome additions. And really, 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 the reason why multi-touch gestures is a big, big deal, like huge, is because instead of having to click and double click that, which is always annoying because sometimes you, it, it thinks you didn't click it twice and it takes you to home screen and so it's it's really annoying double clicking the home button like 
like three times a minute, like three, like all the time. You're double clicking the home button. Now all you have to do is swipe up with four fingers, and it brings up the app drawer. Great, great, great thing to have. Um, also, you can switch between open applications without having to bring up the app drawer at all. It just you just take four fingers, swipe across, and it goes between all your open apps. It's really good on the iPad too because of course it goes faster. On the iPad one, I have iOS five installed on another iPad one, and it is just so slow between loading all the other apps. It's just it's a great experience on the iPad too with the A five processor switching between apps like that. So multi touch gestures, big 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 thumbs up there. Um, here's the notification center. So you see, you try to swipe down on this. It well, sometimes it'll think that you're going back a page. It'll think that you accidentally swiped like this, and it'll bring you to the search page, or it'll bring it to the next page. But it's not. It's, whatever it does, it's never going to bring down an app drawer if you don't have iOS five. Oh, no, uh, multi uh, not notification center. It's not going to bring down notification center. I love notification center. <laughs> you can see here. This is a score center update that the Mets got their ass kicked yesterday. They lost seven to three. Not good stuff, but the fact that it has notification center, I really like it. You saw before I got a notification, and it didn't stop me from doing something. It didn't interrupt me where you wouldn't be able to slide across the screen or anything, or continue with whatever you're doing and ignore it. And it'll it'll cube it'll slide cube down, and it'll slide cube gesture up when it when you ignore it, and you don't get interrupted. It's great. You saw that before from the lock screen on the iPad. Finally, it's a huge deal to have uh, notifications from the lock screen on the iPad because it was just terrible before. Think about how much space you're wasting on the iPad. If you don't have notifications in the middle here and you have like a tiny little blue bar, blue box in the middle, tiny little blue box, compared to uh, when you have a lot of notifications, it'll display a big box here where you can scroll through and everything and it takes, finally, it's using the screen real estate. Before, it would just display a tiny little blue box in the middle and you're wasting like eight of your 9.7 inches it's just thankfully they finally used their screen real estate so anyway guys if there's something i didn't show you here if there's something you want to see just basically anything maybe airplane mirroring I, i'll show in another video anyway just uh... hopefully you'll like the video if you can uh... that always helps and anything in the comments if you're doing this on an ipad to the right and in on a computer in the comments below thank you guys